Daily fix of Central Illinois happenings, all in one great show. It must be 5 o'clock. Gretchen is out at Heights Flowers checking out the great flowers, plants, and more. And the confectionery is in with some Christmas cookies. Plus, the American Heart Association is whipping up a healthy shrimp dish. Now, here's Gretchen Wirtz and Mark Welch. Welcome to Good Company. I'm Gina Stevens filling in for Gretchen today. And I'm Mark Welp. Thanks for joining us. Well, we have another Show Us Your Mug winner. We'd like to congratulate Kelby Poplett. Congratulations, Kelby. You're our Show Us Your Mug winner. We will be in touch with you regarding your prize from Isil's Coffee and East Peoria Popcorn. And we're picking another winner next Monday. This week, we want to see your mugs, pictures of your holiday decorations. Just post them on our HOI 19 Good Company Facebook page. Or email them to us at goodcompany at whoitv.com. And be sure to include your name if you email them to us. Brahms for, Brahms for a contest and put the wow factor back in your wardrobe with your Brahms fur stenciled mink cape with fox trim that I'm wearing. All right. And you'll love this chance to win this black knitted ranch mink cape valued at $4,000 from Brahms fur. All you have to do is like, comment, and share the open segment each week, each day this week, I should say, for your chance to win, just go to our Facebook page, HOI19 Good Company, to enter. All right. Well, it is Monday once again. Hope you had a good weekend. Did you, how many holiday parties did you have this weekend? Only one, and this I put one? all of my effort into it, but did not win the costume contest. Bummer! It was a really hard competition. Was it an ugly sweater Oh, yes, ugly sweater. That's what it was. So how ugly was your sweater? I'd say pretty ugly. It was like Salvation Army, vintage-like, um, weird, everything on it. It's kind of like Christmas throw-up on Did it. you add things to it to no, make it No, I'm not that creative, so maybe that's why. Or I'm just lazy. I don't know. Mm -hmm. How was your weekend? My weekend was good. I wore my traditional ugly sweater I wear uh, every weekend. Oh, yeah. Oh, traditional. Oh, you should yeah. wear that in tomorrow. I may be. Uh, no, we had a good time. We went out, to, went out to eat with friends on Friday night. Excellent. And then went to a Christmas party at the workout company in Normal. Oh. That was fun. Excellent. And the rest of the weekend, we were just kind of chilling, really. Good. Got to have that happen. Yeah. And can you believe Christmas is so close? Only like three weeks away. It's coming. I'm ready for it. Are you? Yes. All the presents are already wrapped and under the tree. You're it's kidding. like record timing. We got done a month ago. Wow. Yeah. Good for you. Professionals. I can help you if you need help. I, I do need help. <laughs> okay. Does that include money? Um, no. I can just wrap it for oh, free. Wrapping? I got lots of wrapping okay. paper from the dollar store. Oh, that's a good idea. <gasps> yes. That's definitely a, a good place to get wrapping paper. Indeed. <laughs> uh, yeah, wrapping paper can be crazy expensive. It can? Really? It I can. have always only gotten it for a dollar, so. Well, when know. you go to the dollar store, it's not expensive. Yes. But uh, other places style. it can be. <laughs> so, um, now that you've got your ugly sweater party out of the way, right. what are you going to do with your sweater? Um, well, just leave it for another party. Hopefully someone will throw it. Or maybe I should just throw a party. I don't there know. I'll just go. keep it in the closet for another rainy day or snowy day. Well, you have a whole year <laughs> to think about how to make it uglier. That's right. I should put on the thinking cap. Thanks for the idea. I'll plan on that. <laughs> Not a problem. Well, we did a story on Daybreak this morning about uh, the popularity is booming with ugly sweaters oh, for Christmas. Really? And there's a company now, too, where you can rent an ugly sweater. Oh. For like 15 bucks, you get the sweater for four days. Ooh, that's a little expensive. Is it? Well, unless you win a prize out of it, then it'll be well worth it. Because some of those, uh, some of the ugly s uh, sweaters, like the vintage ones, like if you get, oh, if no, you okay. buy them, you know, you could pay 50, 60 bucks for them. Actually, that is true. So yeah, that's a that, that would work out good. I should look into that for next year. Yeah, I'll be rent, a sure winner. Rent your ugly Christmas sweater Ooh, and uh, be the hit at all your holiday parties. Hot diggity, I like it. <laughs> so the winner. At the party you went to, what was so special about her sweater? Um, she was a Christmas tree that was like lit up with like lights. She looked just like a Christmas tree, so I give her credit for that. Okay, so she went above and beyond. Yes. Just the ugly Christmas Right, because she was like a tree, so. <laughs> I see. Yeah. All right. Remember that. So for the holidays, I mean, what are you going to do between now and the holidays now that you've got all your shopping done and your presents wrapped? Just drink a lot of eggnog. Drink a lot of eggnog. I don't know. <laughs> and like cook some, or bake some cookies and let's see. I don't know, shake my presents, try to figure out what they are. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of cookies, uh, we're going to have the confectionery on in just a little bit. Just in time for your holiday parties, the confectionery has all the treats you need to make your guests and Santa very happy. And next, we'll take you to a great place to buy flowers and gifts. 